Good evening, dear friends. I believe that one of the most promising way of attracting young people to our organization is an anti-military activity. And while we have a draft system to the army and uh, well, the uh, military establishment is trying to draft people who should not be drafted. And uh, well, uh, we know the phenomenon of hazing, for example, when uh, the uh, younger soldiers are being humiliated by soldiers who have been serving for one or two years. Well, there is the problem of uh, corruption. Conscripts have to build houses for generals and so on. They have to do some work for which people are making money, colonels are making money, and so on. And sometimes this end ends up in tragedies. In the Omsk region, the barracks uh, will actually fall apart, and over 20 people lost their lives. Others were maimed, and uh, these I did not get any compensation for losing their health. And this is not a complete list of dangers that people come across, young people who have to serve in their army. And, uh, well, right now there is uh, the autumn draft going on, the conscription, and uh, young people believe that this is normal, like they think that corruption is normal, the prisoners of the 6th of May, as we call them, tortures, and so on. And people are used to this. They know that the bureaucratic apparatus makes young people serve it. And, well, young people could, uh, for example, build a career or study at universities. So, well, they have to go to the army. This system of corruption goes against the freedom of personality. Well, I believe that everyone has the right to decide how to build his or her life, and the government does not have the right to take away so much time from young people. And very many people are thinking about, are reminding themselves of the imperial Russia, of Soviet, of the Soviet Union, and so on. So, uh, well, it is a lot, it has a lot to do with propaganda. Well, people like to walk around with uh, this ribbon from the Georgian Cross and so on. And while some people try to get away from conscription, others pay not to become part of the military or they hide, they go to other countries and so on. I believe that had at least part of this corrupt money being used for the economy, well, I believe that uh, we could have resolved the issue of doing away with a conscript army. Well, today Russia is going on with the imperial politics of the Russian, Russian Empire. We know about the annexion of the Crimea. The military took part in that. The bloody conflict in the east of Ukraine and uh, Russian Officers are participating in that conflict, the war in Georgia in 2008, and uh, right now the uh, Russian army is meddling in Syria under the pretext of fighting terrorism. Though, uh, well, we know that the Russian government is protecting the Assad regime rather than fighting terrorism. Well, there are some hot spots where there are contractors fighting from the Russian army, but well, we still remember how conscripts were sent to fight in Chechnya in the 90s. And uh, well, uh, Russia can start using conscripts when it will run out of contract officers. And for the youth uh, section of uh, Yablaka, this is a very important campaign. We had a sticker campaign, we wrote articles to for newspapers and so on, so the youth Yablaka was against the wars in Chechnya, in Georgia, in Ukraine. We carried out our own rallies and demonstrations against such actions. We organized 
conferences, show movies, documentaries, and so on. And we use this anti-military, anti-war agenda in our materials. I believe that young organizations, youth organizations like the Youth Yablaka organization can become a leader in anti-military action. Thank <laughs> you.